Okay, so now that you are done editing your magazines, you're going to want to prepare them to upload to a printer. Now, um, you have spreads and single front cover pages. Um, the spreads are the only ones you're going to need to crop. Um, the reason that I created these um, documents in spread is for this very example. I wanted to have a, a full horizontal picture across the entire spread. So rather than creating two separate 8.5 by 11 pages, um, and trying to match up this side with that side, it's easier just to create a full spread and then crop the pages, convert them um, into CMYK, and combine them all into one PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro. So we're going to go through that entire process right now. Um, on the layers panel, you'll know that, notice that I have a, um, a layer that says do not print this layer. This layer is just those guides that you're going to have on there for the purposes of editing your document to make sure that you have all of your um, images all the way to the edge of the pages if you wanted to have a full bleed um, or um, to make sure that your text is within the safe area so anything outside of that doesn't get trimmed off. So let's go ahead and delete that layer because we do not need it. What will be left is the center guide that is positioned right at the center of the spread at eight and a half by eleven. Um, on, uh, uh, and then you're going to need to be using the crop tool to crop each side of that page. So click on the crop tool. If you're in Adobe uh, Photoshop CC 2015, it will automatically um, select that entire document um, for cropping. I want to crop the left side first, so I'm going to bring that in to the center guide. And I'm going to make sure by zooming in that it is exactly on that guide. Oops, I always have trouble with that. Let's zoom back in, okay, and I'm just going to bring that crop mark all the way to that center at 8.5 inches. I'm going to zoom out hitting Command-0 and click Enter, and I'm going to flatten that file, go to Layer to Flatten File. I'm also going to go to Image Mode and convert the um, what is now an RGB file into a CMYK file because printers print in CMYK using cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It's a four color process. So convert all your files into CMYK. If you don't, it, the chances of uh, having some color issues will be very high because your images may look a little dark and muddy. So go ahead and convert those to CMYK. Um, and then you want to save your file. Go to File to Save As. And I've created a folder specifically to put all of my cropped pages in. And I'm going to call this um, Shauna Luffy Magazine page 14 because as you'll see at the bottom footer, this is for page 14. I want to make sure that I save each file in its, in its uh, page number so that one, I can keep them in order and two, um, each one has a separate file um, just to separate them. Make sure you're saving this as a format as a JPEG and click save. And the quality should be at 12 and at maximum so you, you can utilize the highest um, resolution of 300 DPI for your template or for your magazine. Go ahead and click OK. Now in the history panel I'm going to go back to where I flattened, I'm sorry, where I cropped the file, right before I cropped the file, and I'm going to go to uh, layer to flatten and go to image mode to CMYK to convert that to CMYK again. Using my crop tool now I'm going to crop the right side of the spread. Okay, and zooming in to make sure that I am getting it exactly on the center of the sky. And clicking and dragging it over right to eight and a half inches. Command zero to zoom out and click enter or return on your keyboard. And again, we're going to go to file to save as. And now I'm gonna change this page number to page 15. So file name, just call it your name or your studio magazine underscore page number. Okay, make sure every page number is different corresponding to the page that you're cropping. Um, format should be JPEG and click Save. Alright, and for your cover, you do not need to crop this. It's already set at the page size it needs to be. The only thing you need to do is make sure you turn off, and this should be at the top of this of this layer stack, but um, we don't need this again. We're going to this needs to be deleted so that it doesn't print. So make sure you are turning these things off or deleting them all together to make sure, or sorry, just to ensure that we're not printing them. 
This only needs to be uh, flattened, so go to Layer to Flatten Image, go to Image Mode to convert this to CMYK color, and go to File to Save As, and I'm going to put it into the folder I created on my desktop for the magazine pages. I'm going to call this Shauna Lofi Magazine underscore front cover, and I'm actually going to put a page number on this one just called 01, because our first interior spread actually starts with 02. I'm going to make sure the file format is JPEG and click Save. Uh, again, quality set to 12, maximum, click OK. Now imagine I have done this to all of the pages in our, in our uh, magazine document, and now we're going to convert all these pages into one single PDF document. So I'm going to open up my Finder menu, locate the folder that I have all my pages on, and I'm going to click... Um, actually, I noticed that this is not... Sometimes you're going to have this issue depending on how you name your files that um, all your files should be in consecutive order just to make sure. So this one is not um, coming up as the right in the right position because it's a different file name. I notice I put an underscore in front of Shauna. It should be deleted. And click OK and that should change the position. And I misspelled my name. <laughs> uh, make sure that the file name is all the same and you just have a different number. Call this front covers take off zero one. Maybe I'll change the position. It should go over here. Okay. All right. So now that you have all your pages set, sorry, a little difficulty there. So once you have all your pages um, cropped, let's go ahead and convert them into a PDF. So we're going to click and s drag to select all these files and. Um, you can right click, go to um, open with, and Adobe Acrobat doesn't appear as one of my uh, main programs, so I'm going to click other, and I'm going to locate Adobe Acrobat in my applications folder, and launch the program, and once it opens, it'll ask um, in a dialog box whether or not I want to convert all these files into one PDF. I absolutely do, so click yes. And it'll take a few minutes and we'll convert all those JPEGs into a PDF and create one entire file folder for them, or sorry, one entire file file for them. Um, you want to double check to make sure you have all your pages. You can look and make sure by looking at um, the top of the menu, you'll say one of however many, 28 pages, 32 pages. Make sure that those are in groups of four because an 11 by RS spread will have two uh, pages um, side by side on one on one side of the paper and two more pages side by side on the other side of the paper so think of it in terms of um, one entire spread has four single pages on them so they all need to be even number in groups of four so 28 32 or um, 24 20 um, however many pages you decided for your magazine um, so once we have all of our pages together on one PDF we're going to have name that file and save it to um, either to the desktop or to the folder that you have all your pages in. So go to File to Save As. And I'm going to choose a different folder. Um, locate that on the desktop, Magazine Pages, and name my file. Shauna Lofi Magazine. And I call it Final. Or you can call it Printer File. Um, and then click Save, and it'll cr create a PDF, and I'm opening up that Finder menu again, and you'll see that now you have a PDF document with all of those pages in there. Okay, I'm going to close out Acrobat so that I can sh demonstrate for you exactly what it looks like. Double-click that PDF file, and you'll see that all your pages are in there. So go to View, Display, um, Double-Page uh, double Scrolling, and just zoom out a little bit, and you'll see that all your pages are in there. And that's it! So now you can just choose the printer that you want to upload these to. Um, I only have two files, or sorry, two um, templates that are uh, created for blurb.com um, to upload to them, or you can upload to, um, I'm sorry, not blurb, but MagCloud. I have two templates that you can upload to MagCloud. They're in a different file size or different document size for that. Um, their pages are 8.25 by 10.75. Um, so I have the portraiture, I'm sorry, the contemporary portrait magazine and the glamour magazine, which is what this one is. Those two are set for MagCloud. The rest are set 
for um, pretty much any printer that will print 11 by 17 or 8.5 by 11 pages. So I also recommend MGX Copy as well. So go ahead and um, finish up your magazines. I hope you have fun with them, and I have, hope you have great success marketing your studio with your magazines.